Okay, doing something a little different this time. Instead of a demo, I've been asked to do a couple of licks. So we'll start with some fun little things to do on the guitar. We're going to try a couple of licks by request. Here's some of my favorites. Just in case you ever need that elephant you know, stampede sound. I had a request for something I did in one of the demos that was a trim trick. We'll do it in the key of E, just because. You can obviously transpose it wherever you like. We'll start here with a uh, pull-off on the, on the B string, 12 and 15. And now you can add the fun things if you do the little flicky. If you add a little bit of wah-wah to it, it's even better. Here it is with the, with the, with the I, call it, I guess I'll call it the, um, the warble. There's another little lick that's incredibly simple but kind of cool to do. We'll stay in the key of E for simplicity. I'm going to do the same hammer on. What I'm going to do is I'm going, I'm going to tap the same note that, uh, that on the 15th fret that I'm doing with this hand. I'm just going to kind of get a circular motion going. That's a little Billy Sheehan thing I saw him do before. Um, we all know the uh, standard Eddie uh, uh, pull. European um, police siren kind of thing. You can also do something very similar with it. Here's a lick that uh, I started doing. It was kind of a Van Halen ripoff. We'll, we'll stay in the key of E since we're all in E. Standard lick there. But on the next time around, take your right hand and go up. Kind of a neat little variation. Uh, there's a little lick that I kind of like to do that's um, kind of a hybrid, something I pulled off of Brent Mason tape and I couldn't quite do it, so I kind of improvised it on my for myself and threw some distortion on it. That's the lick. I flubbed it. That's closer to what it's supposed to be. I had one of my students ask, you know, what's the difference in playing an A minor pentatonic and a major pentatonic? An easy way to remember, if you don't really know theory, which I don't know much theory, but I do know, if you think of the A chord here in the bar position, you've got all your thing, all your box pattern. Well, if you play an A here, think, think of this one as minor. Think of your A here is playing in major. It's just, uh, if you think of it like that, you can transpose it anywhere you want. So if you're in E, think of that as your minor. Now if you're doing something nice and like I've played a gig with a lot of ballads, they're all in major keys. It was something in E, I would go something similar to. So 
that's all in a major. You know, depending on the song, you can get away with more crazy tapping and stuff like that. But that kind of gives you the major thing. Once again, think of think of that for your 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 minor pentatonic, and then go to your E position up here for your major. A lot of country songs are based, and I'm, I'm really being generic about this, based around the major. So if you were doing something um, in G. Think of that as the minor, and if you do something like much more, that's major. Up an octave. Add distortion, all of a sudden it gets. That's a couple of ways to look at it to really, really simplify it without getting into theory. With the major, major B, I mean minor B. All minor. Now, if you go to B, Major, think of it in this position. The difference is when you go to you that. Now, if you're in major, you'd be minor, you'd be major. Major D. Major E. Kick it in for some uh, minor. It's a lick you can kind of get away with in either major or minor. And you can mix this stuff up too. There's no nothing's written in stone. If it sounds good to you and people don't start throwing beer bottles at you, then you're probably doing it right. You know, I'm the last person to tell you do this, do that. These are just some some of the stupid things I do. Here's a neat little thing that I do. We'll, we'll do in the key of E. Sounds really cool. Let's put a little bit of delay in it. Get that really heavy minor thing there. Here's um, a good old George Lynch it's thing. And then you just do an octave. If you do it the way he did it. Those are always fun. Now, if you think about that, if you just do octaves and little three-note phrases, they're kind of cool too. So if you go, if you want to sound ingve, you end on. This is all in A, and you just end on an A flat. It's kind of cool. I mean, you could go to the the totally major and end on the end on the root. In reverse, you could go. 
kind of evil sounding. <laughs> Oops, there's no fret there. A little harder to do with these big old 11 manly strings on here. So think of things in, in octaves. You can always get away with a lot of stuff. Just octaves. Make up anything. Do it in octaves and it'll work. If it works, if the first six notes work or three notes work somewhere, you can do it anywhere. If you want to get crazy and do something diminished, that's, you know, that's the basic thing. But if you're doing a lick, like, just, here's an easy way to think of it. Put your first finger where your third finger is. Love that lick. Very cool little diminished thing to do. Okay, got one more little lick we'll end it out with. I actually stole this lick from Paul Reed Smith. The um, DVD that I sent out um, a while back had um, a lick in it that I had to actually stop and, and, and rewind it and, and learn it because I thought it was really cool. Paul's a good player. He makes some uh, pretty cool guitars. I love the guitars, obviously. Actually, I'm loving my new strap that uh, my forum buddy sent me. 25th anniversary to match my my beautiful new guitar. But anyway, I digress. Here's the Paul lick. And so I'll do it a little slower. could just end it there, but he ended it. And it sounded very cool when he did it. I think he did it on the neck pickup on um, one of the custom. Very tasteful. I kind of liked it. Has a little bit of string skipping in there. So that's it. Those are uh, CR's tips of the day. I don't have a lot of tricks on my up my sleeve today. No sleeves. So that's all we got for right now. See you next time.